Video games are an interactive experience, but that doesn't always mean we play them the right way. I think we can all collectively agree that, uh, we do some dumb sh** in video games, whether that's abiding traffic laws in Grand Theft Auto or turning a game of Street Fighter into jousting. This is the dumb sh** we do in video games. When I was younger, I had this one friend that I was always in competition with, and it was f for literally everything. Who could wake up the earliest? Who could walk to school the fastest? Who could get to lunch the quickest? Who could read a book in a day? Who could read the most books in a day? Who could read the most best books in a day? Morning to night competition. It was a ridiculous time. And we both loved video games, which naturally meant we competed at video games. And we both loved Street Fighter, so we played a lot of Street Fighter and needed to figure out who was better of the two of us. Now, Street Fighter is a game that's created to decide who's better out of two people. You just play the game versus the winner is better. But for some reason, we thought that wasn't good enough for us and instead we were going to come up with our own way of deciding who was better and that way was something called Street Fighter 2 Jousting. <laughs> I don't know how we came up with these rules, but effectively we'd both pick a character. He'd always pick Ryu, I'd pick Ken because Ken's better. Red, kicks, flames, awesome. And then we'd go into the match, round one fight. There'd be a countdown, three, two, one, and then we'd both back up. Not to the edge of the screen because otherwise the moves that you use to joust wouldn't work, but just far enough to be a safe di distance away, travel distance. And then there'd be another countdown, three, two, one go and on go we'd both input the command for the hurricane kick the tatsumaki senpu kick which is a quarter circle back and kick if you know street fight you know what happens they both travel across the screen with a leg spinning around and first foot that connects does the damage sometimes both feet connect at the same time and they both do damage and we did that for hours best of 50 and i think the reasoning was street fighters inputs were not difficult by modern standards but back in the day as kids using controllers that would slice up your fingers it was tricky so if you could consistently input a command you were clearly the better of the two player so if you fail to input a command you were weak you win. and it was a monumental waste of time like bad use of a, a life a child's life even as a kid i probably knew that but couldn't face it and the other stupid thing was like, it usually end up in a draw or we just forget because we'd lose track of it because we're trying to do first of 50 and there'd be double KOs in there and we'd get into arguments about that. We were stupid kids and we did a lot of dumb stuff while playing video games and this was one of them. When I was a kid, maybe eight or nine years old, we had a copy of The Sims on our computer and I had a character, and my sister had a character, and my brother did, as well as our next-door neighbors at the time, who were roughly the same age as us. And uh, I had a pretty big crush on my neighbor. Um, let's call her Sarah. So uh, instead of telling Sarah how I felt about her in real life, I figured the best way to go about it would be to have our Sims marry each other. So uh, for the next couple of weeks, I would invite Sarah's Sim over to my house, and I'd make her dinner, and we'd watch TV. She'd leave her plate half-finished on the floor sometimes and walk away, but, you know, whatever. It was uh, all progress. But for some reason, when I'd talk to her, uh, I could never move past hugging. That was basically the peak of my Sim's affection towards her. And I wanted to kiss her and eventually propose, but I couldn't do it. And I asked my sister what the problem was, and she told me to bring up how I'd allocated my Sim's skill points, my personality points. And we realized that I hadn't put any points into outgoing, because I didn't know what it meant at the time, because I was eight years old. And my sister told me that my Sim would never be able to propose or kiss, because he wasn't brave enough to make, make a move and push things past hugs. So, yeah, I, I, we, never, <laughs> we never consummated that. The Sims never consummated the marriage. I'd like to think that somewhere on a computer hard drive, rotting and rusting in the landfill, my Sim is still calling over Sarah's Sim to this day, watching patiently as she eats her meal, waiting for the day to come when she realizes her true love has been sitting there all along, talking her ear off about sunglasses or pizza. Ah, to be young and no love, but not yet know what outgoing means. When it comes to dumb shit I've done in games, it's kind of hard to narrow it down to just one, but I think my favorite has to be, and it goes for any Grand Theft Auto game, but I'm gonna start by saying Vice City is my favorite, but in Grand Theft Auto, there's just something about abiding all the traffic laws and driving like an actual 
law-abiding citizen. It's super weird and super dumb, but I've always enjoyed doing that in GTA for some reason. You know, you roll up next to a cop and you're like, yeah, I'm a criminal, but you don't even know because look how perfect my driving is. And it's super silly and super crazy, but Vice City also had, in my opinion, the best soundtrack of all GTA games. It was nice to just cruise, you know, chill out, listen to the music, and all the cars were super dope in that game too. So it was a perfect storm for the dumbest shit ever. <laughs> now hold on, before we go into this final segment, I just need to say that this is not dumb. In fact, it's disgustingly adorable. And if you think otherwise, you need to get in touch with your feelings. One of the amazing things about being stuck at home these past few weeks is my kids finding Zelda Breath of the Wild. It's a game that they took to in really unexpected ways. I'm the mama chicken. I have uh, one daughter who likes to take care of chickens. She named each one. She talks to them like she's their mama. Ocean, water, this is airplane. When it rains, she takes them inside one at a time. She'll also spend hours just running up a hill over and over again and gliding off or tossing them on the roof of her chicken coop. Hearing chickens squawk for hours at a time, it can be pretty maddening. But fortunately, I've invested in noise-canceling headphones. When not doing that, she's up at Goron Hot Springs, setting her underwear on fire. Oh, black spout, I'm gonna set on fire. And then jumping in the pools, which fortunately put out the fire and give you your health back. Uh. Meanwhile, my other daughter really likes horses, like quite a lot. Um, when you get your horses, they actually tell you if they're gentle temper. Our only ungentle temper one, and it's Glitter Force Sash. She's a, her word tempered is wild tempered. She gets up early every morning and feeds them, takes them for walks, makes sure that they're exercised. She does an agility course on a hillside and generally keeps her horses happy and fit. She's also filled the entire inventory with dishes she's cooked. Every time you make dub just food, it actually is really gross. Um, what it does is, um, right, like, it just does, like, black stuff all around it, and it, like, makes a farting noise. My kids do really, really silly things, and it keeps them entertained for hours. And that is only a glimpse of some of the ungame-like things we do in the games we love. But it doesn't stop there. I know you do dumb shit. Don't lie to me. I know you do, and I want to see it. So if you'd like, send it my way on Twitter at Kurt underscore Indovina. And, or you can just jump in the comments and leave your own story. I know I, for one, don't want to admit how many baguettes I've shoved down the mailing tube in Grim Fandango, just simply because I can. Also, if you're itching for more of this, there's actually an article that you can check out in the description below of all the other dumb shit we hear GameSpot do in video games. Anyways, that's it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.